Hello and welcome to the 10th EC Vlog. I can't believe we've reached 10 videos since the start of the year. And to celebrate with you, we will be sharing some of the bloopers. And mishaps that have happened since we began at the end of the video. However, today we are also going to be talking about the Magna Carta video that we uploaded last week. And spotlighting on our last, but not least, act in the English cabaret hour. A woman, a piano. This week, we uploaded a new video entitled Magna Carta 800 and the European Convention on Human Rights. It uses the first part of Dreams of Peace and Freedom, Magna Carta, with images from Runnymede and also the memorial to Magna Carta. In the week of the 800th anniversary, we remember our freedoms and how important it is to protect them. Here's a clip from the video. And to see the full version, go to the link below or Click up there. In 1924, a young lawyer such as I thought of the rule of law as something unassailable. We imagined that the horrors and sacrifices of the First World War had not been futile, and that mankind had at last learnt its lesson and would henceforth live in accordance with reason. What happened to these fond imaginings? Every hope that we nursed was disappointed. Reason was once more dethroned, one brutalizing dogma after another bore dreadful fruit. In our last of the spotlights on each of the acts in the English Cabaret Hour, we caught up with Sue Casson, also known as A Woman of Piano, and gave her some quickfire questions about this year's show. Hello. Hello. How did the idea of A Woman of Piano come about? At a very basic level, it's it's what I am. It's what I do. I'm a woman and I play the piano. When we were thinking about the shows for Edinburgh last year, we did three very different shows. We did a song cycle and a musical and a cabaret. And when we were thinking about what the thread was that tied them all together, these very different shows, it was that a woman had sat at a piano and written some songs and they went into those shows. How do you get your inspiration for your songs and what inspired you to write songs for this year's English Cabaret Hour? Inspiration is a very difficult thing to know how to express. It comes from an idea, you see something, you read something, you think of something and because I very often write the music and the words, a line or something can be the starting point for a song. So if I think of an idea and then the line comes, then I can develop that into something else. And the, and the music then for me would be the mood and how one would make that, you know, sort of come to life. As for the songs from this year's cabaret, it's a sort of snapshot of what I've been writing over the last 12 months or 18 months or so. So it, it's all very new, which is quite exciting. How long does it take to write a song? How long is a piece of string? The first bit can often be almost instantaneous because you can get your line, you can get the first verse almost. I would say that the thing that takes the time in writing a song is not the initial idea so much as the crafting of what goes after it is turning it into a structure that makes a song so that you've not got a verse on its own but you've got a chorus and you work out whether you have a chorus and then a verse or two verses and then a chorus and then that it says everything that you want it to say and that's the bit that you can't quantify that's that could take any length of time what is your favorite song from this year's show Mm, that's a tricky one, isn't it? I think whichever one I'm playing in the show at that moment, 
because otherwise you're sitting through the show thinking well I'll get this one done and then I'll get to my favourite so no they're all my favourite and the one I'm playing at that moment that's my favourite because that's the one where my energy is being channeled What is your favourite part of performing a show at the Edinburgh Fringe? The Edinburgh Fringe is so full of people doing stuff which sounds really corny but it's being part of that artistic explosion that is really exciting. The idea that there are so many people like you doing things, trying to be heard, putting on new stuff, trying to get people in through the door, playing on street corners just to be heard. I think that's tremendously energising and exciting. When you're performing, are you thinking more about playing the piano or what's happening on stage? If you're playing the piano, you can't not think about playing the piano. On the other hand, you have to be aware of what's going on on stage. To an extent, if you're very familiar with what you're playing, your hands take over a beat and your ears check that you haven't completely misremembered so that you can stay aware of what's going on. But you couldn't zone out of playing the piano completely or there might be something really worrying happening in your performance. Over the years in Edinburgh, what has been your favourite venue to play? I probably go back to my early days in Edinburgh because that's when everything is very new and very exciting so I'd have to think that it was the Café Royal which is now called the Voodoo Rooms and upstairs there was very exciting when we first went up there. Are you looking forward to returning to see South a second year running? Very much so. In the heart of the community, it's in the shadow of a beautiful church with a lovely garden What's not to like? <laughs> Thank you very much. A woman of piano. <laughs> <laughs> to find out more about Woman of Piano, visit her website at www.suecasson.co.uk Or discover her songs on the A Woman of Piano playlist at English Cabaret Soundcloud. And watch a newly uploaded video, Green Rainfall, at her YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. A like and subscribe and comment below. And join us again in two weeks for another grand's worth of what we get up to here at English Cabaret. And we will leave you with some silly moments of the last ten vlogs. Bye! And goodbye. We have been travelling around more of the UK this week, taking photographs for upcoming projects and spreading the word about dreams of peace and freedom. At the Edinburgh Fringe in 2015, we will be performing the English Cabaret Hour 15. Brief Encounters. English Cabaret will continue their... English Cabaret will continue their... <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 6th EC Vlog. Today, we are at the American Bar Station. Oh great, thanks truck. Thank you so much. We are performing some of the songs that we're going to be singing at this year's Edinburgh Fringe on the 27th of May at 12.30 at St Luke's Church in Sevenoaks. It's a free event and tree and coffee are provided. No, why are you saying tree and coffee? <laughs> Police convoy. That's it for this week, but join us again for another video in two weeks' time. Bye!